Alright. Uh, we're getting a little mud on the boots. It's just like a little soft on top. I can feel it packing up though. Um, I think uh, this is usually the first big mud puddle we walked around the edge. Um, I've already made my left onto the trail after the first mud puddle. It's all drying up, so that's a good sign, really, for me. Now we just need the mornings to be nippy. <laughs> and by nippy, I mean cold for me. But most of your mornings probably now, you know, 40 degrees. Um, if you're lucky to be that warm in the morning. But that's what I need to go walking through there. And feel somewhat safe that I'm not going to get snake bit at 40 degrees. Um, unless I accidentally step on one, maybe. I would hope at 40 degrees they'd be in the hole in the ground. But... One may have come out early, curled up, knowing that it's going to get some good mornings on and get warm, and get something to eat, and then get warm again, and then we'll go back home into the ground. You know, somebody's walked out here since the water's dried up. I always see really one set of footprints. So, and they look semi fresh, and they're going the opposite direction. Got a paw print. A solo paw print so far. It was just right there. Oh, okay, I see more right there. It's a paw print. You know, it's a paw print, obviously, but it's looking more like a raccoon. Really pointy. Isn't that a raccoon? I'm not a tracker. I'm not a hunter. I want to know what these white poles are for. There's quite a few of them out here now. I'm not sure that they haven't always been here, but I've noticed them lately. But I've been coming out here for five years, so. Oh, that was a hint to where I'm at. Sorry. What is this? Um, I think we need to go to the left or right, people. Eh, we're going to go right. That's a little body of... A low-lined area that's somewhat got water in it. Probably no more than knee-deep at most. But, good enough to track mosquitoes for now. Which I did not spray myself. And I did not put a bracelet on today. Ooh, that's real soft. <laughs> you can see my footstep. That was pretty soft. I could feel myself sink. And, uh... There's some mud on the boots. So we successfully got mud on the boots. We're on a newer trail that you guys, well, you've been on this trail. It was moons ago, several blue moons ago. So I think for the last two years, every other year, we've had a blue moon for like one year, skip a year. And then again this year, we had blue moon. Which is two full moons in a 30-day cycle. A calendar 30-day cycle. Um, so, somebody makes a good trail right through there. Nice little game trail. So we think. It's dead quiet out here. I'll be quiet for a minute. <clears throat> I think I hear a motorcycle in that direction. On occasions I hear cars go down the road over here. Uh, looks like we have another left or right situation up here. If that's the case, I'm going to take a right because I think I know where the left goes. 
which just goes out to the outer trail next to across the road from the landfill. Which I don't mind going that way if I can go all the way around. Yeah, we're going this way. Ooh, this is soft too. And this is you can see those footprints? Boot prints, whatever. So whoever it was more than likely came out of this way, I would assume. Oh, wait a minute. That's a different footprint there, in there. And somebody walked across there. I mean, mosquitoes. All of a sudden. I guess since I said something about it. Anyhow. So, ooh, look at that. Before you all go snow load, um, <clears throat> or hurricane, that tree's a little bitty. First of all, hurricane would not keep it down. That's what we call an arch, because it bends. But I'm sure that it may not be a tree branch of that tree. We may have to get a better look at this, and it's going to be kind of in the sun. So just take my word that that's a separate tree down there. Let's bend up and over an arch. Sorry for the sun. That's what we call an arch. It's part of their language. They're very secretive out here. I mean, I know what I'm looking for, for the most part. And it's here and there. Very few times will I see multiple languages in one spot. Okay, I'm gonna have to spray myself. So this clip's gonna have to end. I'm gonna have to take off my backpack and spray myself because I ain't putting up with these mosquitoes. All right, so turn you back on in a few. Until tomorrow.